Um, it is the 50th anniversary of the Black Panthers. Yeah. Uh, this week, the British website Spiked published an article in which Elaine Brown, former chair of the Black Panther Party, said, quote, Black Lives Matter has a plantation mentality. She added, quote, the next wave of young people running out here who are complaining and protesting about the murders of young black men and women by the police all over the country, they'll protest, but they will not rise up in an organized faction fashion with an agenda to create revolutionary change. We advocated community self-defense organizations to be formed so that we would not be assaulted by the police, so that we would bear arms and assume our human rights. Your response to Elaine Brown's critique and then the trajectory from Black Panthers to Black Lives Matter. Well, I, you know, I, I love the Black Panther Party. I, I spent uh, some time over the past few weeks with Bobby Seale, the co-founder of the Black Panther Party, and uh, he loves the Black Lives Matter movement and has been immensely supportive, encouraging not only to me but to many activists. So I was disappointed in what um, in what Elaine said, and I, I know Elaine. I've talked with her many times. Um, when Elaine got involved in the Black Panther Party. Uh, it was about two years old. And that's where we are in the Black Lives Matter movement as well. And so I think some of what she did was she evaluated the totality of the Black Panther Party and all that it accomplished in 10 years and compared it to where we are right now in year two. And, and so it's an unfair comparison to say where we are in year two compared to where the Black Panther Party was in year two. Two years in, it literally only had four or five thousand people, the Black Panther Party, that were committed to it, to its practices, and uh, it was still trying to determine where it went and what it would do. And so I think uh, if you look at where we are now versus where the Black Panther Party was at this same time, I think we're doing well. Uh, I understand her criticism, saying, you know, what are they doing compared to what they accomplish, but even some of us looked at the dangers of what happened to Black Panther leaders from targeted assassinations to COINTELPRO, <coughs> and some of the lessons that we learned from them has caused us to change our methods. And so, um, the Black Lives Matter movement is not a carbon copy of what the Black Panther Party did. How we do what we do will be uniquely different. Our time is different. Uh, so, I, I, I respect her, revere her, and admire her, but I was disappointed to read some of what she said. Sure. And, and more importantly, the Black Panther Party was an organization. Uh, Black Lives Matter is a movement, which has come up really in a spontaneous fashion from all around the country, whereas the Panthers started in one place as a disciplined organization. It's a very different form of attempting to achieve social change. Sure. And, and, mm -hmm. and what I found is, not just with Elaine, but with many of our elders, is that they are unaware that uh, the Black Lives Matter movement does have a comprehensive platform that there are hundreds of organizations that see themselves as a part of this movement in all 50 states all across the country, and they have their own policy platforms. And it's difficult for one person, her or anybody else, to wrap their mind around the specific fights and battles that we are fighting. So a lot of people just aren't informed uh, to how organized this movement really is. Sean King, before we wrap, um, Injustice Boycott Initiative. Explain what it is in this yeah. last minute. On December the 5th, uh, hundreds of thousands of us are coming together uh, to boycott injustice in this country. And what we mean by that is we believe there are not only cities and states which continue to underwrite the cost of injustice, they continue to back it and support it, be it police brutality or racial violence, but also corporations uh, that are behind it and either say nothing or do nothing, or even worse than that, are specifically backing the police departments, which continue to be brutal all over this country. So we're launching a targeted boycott on December the 5th, uh, not for a day or two days, but our model really is the Montgomery bus boycott, which lasted for 381 days until they saw change. So, do you have uh, corporations targeted? We do, and we'll be announcing those on December the 5th. And uh, we're holding our cards close to our chest until then. Uh, but we do have corporations we'll be targeting as well.